What's up everyone? Before the video starts, I want to make a very quick disclaimer that I don't advise anyone actually try to do what I'm showing. It's for educational reasons and for people who have already set in stone in their mind that this is something that they want to do. This has the possibility to be very harmful and I do not want to be held liable for something you do just because a random dude on the internet shows you. Please do your research before trying anything like this. Now let's begin the video. Many people don't actually know where to get the seeds, so in this video, I'll show you where to get them and how to prepare for consumption properly. There are probably many other ways to get these seeds, but the way I've gotten mine was through the website called Shaman's Garden. They sell all kinds of things, but where we're interested in is the Hawaiian baby woodrow seeds. So what you want to do is go to their website which will be linked in the description. Go to the search bar in the website and search up baby woodrow seeds. Scroll down until you find them, but make sure you click on the one that says Hawaii in parentheses. From what I've heard, these have the best effect compared to the other strains. Now I'm sure you know how to go through the checkout process. It's pretty self-explanatory and I don't really need to explain it to you. Just register account, add to cart, blah, blah, blah. But there's something important that I think a lot of people get stuck on. The payment process. Typical websites like eBay will usually allow you to pay with PayPal or with your debit card. However, that's not the case with this website because it doesn't allow you to pay this way. It only accepts five different payment methods. But the way I recommend is through Zeal or Zelle. I don't know how to pronounce it doesn't matter. It works just like Cash App and is really simple. Just make a Zeal account, pay money to the address the website tells you to, and then when it asks you why you are paying, only include the order number that you were given. There's a bunch of reasons as to why they make you do it like this, but I just don't question it. So now you've gotten a hold of these magical seeds, and you now you have three options for taking them. The first one is easy. You just chew the seeds untreated. The second is to extract the LSA through a very high concentration of alcohol. And the third is through using cold water. Now the first option takes the least amount of time because it's simple. You just eat the seeds as it is. But I do not recommend doing this because from what I've heard, it gives you very terrible headache and stomach pain and nobody really wants that. The second option is the alcohol method which sounds like it would work the best however not everybody has access to alcohol with levels above 90% concentration and it seems more complicated than the third option which is very simple. So the first thing you're going to want to do is peel the skin off of the seeds because on the outside there's some type of fungus on it and you really don't want to have that because it will give you nausea. After that, you're gonna wanna get something that you can crush up the seeds with. Right now I'm using a mortar and pestle and it's just going to make it a very fine dust. It'll make it easier to extract the LSA outside of the seeds. Now what you're gonna wanna do is get your bottled water or previously boiled water and pour it into a small container. Now once you've got that done, the next thing you're going to want to do is pour all the dust into the water from the wood rose seeds. It was kind of hard for me to get all of the dust out, but just try and get as much as you can. So it should look a little bit something like this once you've scooped all of it into the water. And it will turn a type of yellowish color, kind of like pea. The next thing you're going to want to do is stir it up a little bit. Now you're going to want to get some aluminum foil so that you can cover the container so that no light can get in. Now that all these simple steps are done, the last thing you're going to want to do is put it into the fridge for 4 to 24 hours. The longer you have it wait in the fridge, the better extraction it's going to be, but if you're kind of in a rush, at least wait for 4 hours. I hope this video has helped anyone who may have been curious about Hawaiian baby woodrow seeds. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe because it'd help out a bunch. In my next video, I'll show you guys my reaction to actually taking them, so stay tuned for that.